I really am loving like the female characters in this. I mean, hello, female power all about it. <laughs> so <laughs> my question is, um, you know, was this, how important was it to, for you to have these female characters in the film? And, you know, what kind of research did you do? You know, were, are there, and I kind of want to know, did you find any female pirates, any, any female pirates <laughs> in the past? <laughs> Well, you know, specifically to that, we, we did a ton of research into the, the world, that era and the, and the technology, but we didn't do as far as like the ships and things like that goes um, and, and, that, and that culture. But we didn't do a lot of specific research into individuals, men or women. Um, and uh, but I would say that that it, one of the nice things about the this movie well, I'll say that we, we looked at Master and Commander a lot as a great reference point for a movie that 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 has that that where it, it's set in a certain era and has a real feeling of authenticity. But obviously, that's a certain time and a place on in our history on planet Earth. Um, and so it's all men, of course. Right. Um, but in in uh, with this movie, it's it's a fantasy world. And so we could really, uh, you know, design the 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 the, the ship's crew um any way we liked and so that allowed us to actually make it resemble more our world today right and uh and and make it feel uh more relevant in that way so being true to sort of the 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 the, the technology of the time but i would say you know as far as representation and culturally it it, it more reflects our modern era hey, hey my name is hi. kathy it's nice meeting you hi, so nice I to meet you wanted, too. I, we love the movie and so okay. um i wanted to know uh, two things. How different was it from Disney to Netflix? Mm -hmm. And were you able, have you seen the movie in its entirety? Oh yeah. It's been done for months. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know. Yeah. So is it yeah. everything you expected it to be? And was there anything you want, you could have tweaked if you could have? Oh my gosh. Well, we'd be here all day. Cause <laughs> um, I'm, I'm that way with every movie. I, I just, I focus on like, Oh, I really wish I would have made one tiny little choice differently. And I'll, and I will be guilty of focusing on that one little thing. Um, the, uh, the, as far as like the, the, was it different at Netflix versus Disney? Um, yeah, it, it was yes and no, I'll say, um, I moved from Canada to work at, at Disney animation and I was there for almost, almost exactly 25 years, which was half my life. Right. And, and so, um, and, and I was used to working a certain way and I, and I knew the people I have relationships, friendships that go back decades at Disney and I still do. Um, and so it was very comfortable, uh, and, and I, and I, and I got along great and, uh, with everybody there. Um, and the, but the choice to, to leave and come to Netflix was really just me wanting to, um, mix things up for myself. It was just a personal thing where I, I felt like I just wanted to disrupt myself as an artist and, and to, to make sure that I would never become too comfortable or too complacent, you know, um, but coming to Netflix, uh, it it was it was radically different in that I was going to be meeting a whole bunch of new people, as strangers, you know, and 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 coming together and 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 making a, making a movie with a new group of people. And I'll I'll admit that first day when I drove not to the building I've been driving to for 25 years, but drove in another direction to a new building, I had that first day of school feeling, you know, um, where you're 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 nervous, you know, um, but you're also excited um, about about the what what lay ahead, and and it was certainly activating and 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 energizing to work to, to meet all sorts of new people who'd come from all different um, backgrounds uh, and 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 disciplines. People coming from film, TV, two D, stop motion, CG animation. Uh, people who worked in all different had all different experiences working lots of different ways, coming together to make this thing. That was a very different experience for me. Um, and it was scary and it was hard, but it was also really motivating. And I think you hopefully feel it in the movie when you watch it, that there was a, there was a, there was a, the crew felt really galvanized about around the possibility of what this movie could be. It was absolutely spectacular. And the reason why I asked you that question was because my kiddo and I, we were discussing, he loves movies. He wants to be an animator. And we were talking about the director and we were talking about the animators and whatnot. And then he says, mom, he went from Disney and Netflix. Do adults change their careers? I said, no, but you change, you could change where you work, your location. So you could, you know, spice up life. And he was just, just stunned. 
that mm. you've done that. So thank yeah. you for answering that because I'm going to have them watch what you say. So I, I love that. I love what you said. So thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, Chris. Hi. Um, so my question was, while well, bringing all of these kind of like elements and inspirations together, was there like an aha moment, like the light bulb went off in your head and you knew what the sea beast was? <laughs> that is such a good question. Because the, the, the process, I think when it's done right, at least my experience of movies I've worked on and, and, and great movies that I've been sort of adjacent to and that I've seen really come together, it's, it's a constant state of exploration to try to find the movie and try, try to find the best version of the movie. And so at any given moment, you think you're making the best version of the movie, but then a new idea comes along, a new revelation, and you adjust and you, and you add a character, add an idea, adjust a theme. And, and with animation, it, it's at its best, it's very collaborative and very iterative, where we're constantly challenging our assumptions and constantly, the movie is constantly evolving towards something that you don't quite know what it is yet. And so, so strangely, you don't kind of know what it is until near the very end of the journey, you know, because we're in a position where we can, can, we can keep tweaking and making adjustments towards nearly the very end of, of the line. Um, and so in, in, in a way, in a way, the, the, the light bulb moment is when it's done, you go, ah, now I know what it is, you know, but, you, but, you know, it, when it starts out, you have a, a script or a set of story reels and you're feeling good about it. You're otherwise, you know, why would you invest that amount of energy into something if you didn't feel it, it had promise? Um, and so all the way along, you're feeling like optimistic, but, and, 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 and be able, and you're able to describe what it is that you're excited about, you know, why you want to make this movie, what's great about it. Um, otherwise, again, why make it if you don't think there's anything great about it? Uh, but then you have to always but not get stuck, you know, be willing to say, oh, you know what, we've now that we've seen more of the movie put up, it really has opened up our eyes to new ideas, new possibilities. And so you have to be flexible and, and listen to the movie, the movie starts talking to you, right. And, uh, and, and so it, it, it becomes this really um not amorphous that's not the word but but certainly collaborative uh evolution uh to the story and to the movie and and it and what it does is it allows it allows all of the insanely talented people that i'm surrounded by every day to plus the movie and make it better you know it's it it because it's 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 there and it's as you're working on it it's kind of bare and it's open to you <laughs> and 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 it allows hopefully it, you're in a place where you're allowing these these great ideas to to adhere to to the film you know um so that's a long that's a long answer uh that's a long way around the bend to say that there isn't really that light bulb moment until until the very end or if there is you don't quite trust it you're like okay this is the best idea right now this is the best version of the movie right now but you're pretty sure as you move down the road it's going to keep getting better and better awesome thank you hearing you talk about it i mean i only got to see 40 minutes of it now hearing you talk about it, i'm like i need to do more more so <laughs> my question is what do you want people to take away after you know seeing the movie in, in its entirety well, that that's I mean, obviously, it's a it's a pretty big and ambitious movie. And there's and and so that's that's a big question with sort of with a with a probably a big sprawling answer, um, which I tend to be guilty of. But the a lot of it is some of it is just I want people to to have a great time. You know, I want people to be immersed in this movie and 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 have experience an experience similar to when I would watch a movie like Lord of the Rings or shows like Game of Thrones or or Blade Runner. Um, or any of these movies that really take you to a place that feels very complete and resolved, you know, and, and it really invites you to, to, to inhabit that world. I want people to have that kind of experience. Um, and, and so, so some of it is just, I want people to, to feel a certain way um, as they're watching it, be entertained by it, you know? Um, but I think that it, it's some of the, the themes as the story advances beyond the point that you've seen, um, the themes start to crystallize a little bit, and I think that there are ideas about the nature of conflict and and our tendency to to um, demonize the other. You know, there are there are some there are things like that that start to become more apparent as as the movie unfolds, and and unfortunately, things that feel um, in a way more and more relevant today that 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 the movie's taking on it almost sort of gained relevance over the course of years of its development, and uh, and so there are there are 
you know, you're, you're trying to do two things. You're trying to get people on the edge of the seat with these big, fun, over the top set pieces. You're trying to entertain people, invite people into an immersive world. But at the same time, at the end of the day, hopefully you have some 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 deeper thematic um, notions for people to really think about. And 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 um, so you're, you're, you're trying to serve serve both masters, you know. So when you were little, um, I wrote this down because I want to make sure I didn't screw it up. When sure. you were little, did you, um, were you into classic adventure movies? And was there, and if you were, is there a specific classic adventure movie that inspired you? Well, yeah, I mean, certainly Star Wars left a, an impression oh. on me like everybody else, right? Like I'm not alone yes. there. <laughs> but you know what? The, the King Kong really, I loved King Kong. And okay. I was at the, I'm, I'm, I'm at the age where the seventies version was the version was my King Kong. And I know it's not considered like the good King Kong, but it was my King Kong. And, and I loved it. And just that idea of setting sail towards the uncharted Island and, and not knowing what you're going to find there was, I was just riveted. And uh, I remember collecting King Kong cards from that movie and, and I was just so excited by it. And, and it was just so, it was so big in its, in its scope, but it also had, and it had a, you know, a giant creature and monster fights that, you know, every, everybody likes those things. Um, at least I, certainly I did. And, uh, but, but they also, you, you were invited to empathize with, with the monster. Um, and that's hard to do, you know, with, with the difference in scale, it's hard to really connect uh, with something like that. And, and they managed it. And, and so it, it ends up being at the end of the day, an emotional movie. Um, and so as I was, you know, and, and embarking to make my own, you know, uh, movie that featured giant creatures, uh, that was definitely one that I would reference a, a lot. Um, my experience watching watching that movie. So I, I would say, you know, King Kong, probably Raiders of the Lost Ark would be the other one that, that for me was like a, a lightning bolt moment for me, just sitting in the theater watching Raiders and and feeling like um, just being conscious of the fact that adults, I was a little, I was fairly, I was a, a young-ish, young kid watching Raiders and, uh, and I was cognizant of the fact that adults made it and it, and this, this, I remember watching the movie and loving it, but having this internal conversation that, that I can grow up and I can still appreciate and love the same things that I love now. And, and maybe on some level, I, I understood you could make a living making things like that. And, uh, and that was, I don't know, I feel like I walked out of the theater, uh, changed by it. And so uh, probably King Kong and Raiders are the two most impactful for me. So I was just curious, um, you know, coming from your, from the animation that we've had from you from Disney and now this animation that we have sort of at Netflix, it's kind of evolved. And so just in watching the first 40 minutes, um, just the amount of, um, you know, stuff that we see from like rope animation and hair animation and just movement animation, the water animation, everything like that. I was curious as to, you know, when you were writing the story and visualizing, you know, what you wanted this movie to be, you know, um, when you talked to the animators and when you were going over this stuff, like how kind of was that set up of like, we're going to, you know, do this story and, you know, with these sea creatures mm -hmm. and the animation, how it's going to be like, how, what was kind of like the um, headspace behind that, I guess, if you will. Yeah, I probably should have been a little more um, conscious of some of the challenges when I was when I was first designing the story, because one thing you definitely don't want to do is set a movie on a ship that's out in the open ocean um, that's covered in ropes. And uh, so so it's like, you know, it was it was very challenging from a, a technological standpoint. Um, but the nice thing is, I think animation is a relatively small community um, and and. And I think it's it we're we're proud of of the work that we do, and we want to make great movies, and we want to keep raising the bar. Um, and and people in animation tend to respond to a challenge. Um, and and there's this cyclical thing where the the stories um, can inspire the technology to adapt and to advance, and then the technology inspires the stories, 
and they be, and and so there's there's this constant sort of almost challenge going back and forth and so for example i remember back on big hero 6 we had one character that had longer hair and another character that had a necklace around his neck and just that just those two things especially that necklace almost killed us like it was it was driving us crazy it was so challenging from a technological standpoint um and then i remember when we went on to to work on moana and and they were showing us some of the character designs where there were these characters that had like maui has this this necklace that with these these bones on it and they're wearing grass skirts and all these fabrics and long hair and they're jumping in and out of the water and i remember like raising my hand and saying i don't think this is possible based on my experience and they said no I, the technology is advanced the artistry is advanced we think we can do it and i just felt this this pride this 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 um this feeling that they wanted to achieve something that was really challenging that that um that made me really optimistic and so i said okay let's do it and uh and and i think that's sort of um that's a thing that you experience a lot in animation is is people that really like the idea of taking on something that's hard and so when you say okay now we're going to set a story out in the open ocean with these giant creatures and we're going to have major characters that are that are very different scales um and and there's going to be a large cast and there's going to be all these reasons to not make this movie it's it's this thing where they they actually go they they it 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 has the opposite effect they say well then let's do it that sounds impossible let's do it you know and uh and so again i i and the movie i and the movie become the beneficiary of that kind of enthusiasm um and and i think that that's something that i've been feeling in animation since i since i uh since it started and and it's and it's i feel it's it hasn't dissipated at all people are still really pumped to make great movies and really excited about the state of the animation industry and where this is all going, you know? Question for you, it's, oh. it's, it's the background, is that a real wheel and spears? Yes. No, th this, they, there was uh, an artist at Netflix that made these, these are kind of props here. Okay. Um, and this was also, I think a prop from a live action film, but I don't know which one. <laughs> <laughs> so are they yours now to keep because they're there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so, <laughs> that's awesome. Well, thank right, you well, for taking the time to speak yeah. with us today. Yeah, thank you so much. Honestly, mm -hmm. thank you, Chris. We appreciate everything. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Really Have nice a good day. Okay. Thanks. Bye bye. All right. Bye bye.